Now, if we can move for the shortcut method for distant vector routing, then if I consider router B, so at router B, at router B, what are their Nikebor routers? The Nikebor routers of router B is router A, router D, and router C. Correct or not? So at B, we are having distant vector of A. What is distant vector of A? It would be 0, it would be 2, it would be infinity, and it would be 1. Right, this is for A. What is distant vector for D? So for distant vector for D is this 1, and then 7, and then 11, and then 0. And what would be distant vector for C? Distant vector for C would be infinity, and then 3, and then 0, and then 11. Right. So this is the distant vector for router A, router D, router C and with the help of that we need to construct the final routing table for router B. So for final routing table, for final routing table for router B, for router B, we can use a shortcut method like that. It will also have some destination A, B, C, D and uh, these are the destinations and here we are having distance here we are having distance and here we are having next hope right now if you can see here b to b will be zero directly we can write and next hope will be b because we are working at router b now b to a you can see b to a is zero right so you can see b to a is zero and b to d d to b so d to b what what is uh, b to a d to a a to d is one and what is C to A? Infinity. So which is the minimum one? A to B. A to B is 2. Right. A to A. We are working at B. So B to A, it would be 0. B to A, it is 0. Right. B to A. Okay. B to A, it is 2. B to A. We need to work at B. Basically, this is for A. This is for B. This is for C. This is for D. I am saying I need to fill this. B to A. B to A is 2. D to B is 7 and D to C is 3 which is minimum 1. Minimum 1 is this right. So I will put D here and next stop will be A. Again we are not going to take minimum again and again. We can directly use. I need to fill the minimum here that is B to C. So what is B to C? I need to fill B to C. So if you are going to take the router A it would be infinity. So you, we just need to add the previous path to it. So infinity it is. Now if I talk about D to C it is 11. Right it is what? It is 11 b to c and if i choose c it would be zero so we can say that that if you want to traverse from b to c if you want to traverse from b to c the minimum one is this b to c is this right this is b to c see here this is distant vector routing for a this is distant vector of router d this is distant vector of c i hope you get that uh, if i if we want to reach a so if we want to reach a if we want to reach A from where? From where? From B. For, from B. So B to A is 2. B to A is 2. Getting it. B to A is 2. And B to D is B to we need to reach A. But if we use distant vector router of D. So can we reach from uh, what to what to say that is uh, we are making routing table for B. And we need to go from B to A. So if I will choose path from D. I need to come to 7 and then 2. Right. But if you are going to see here, B to A is 2. Which table? This final table? We, we are making routing table of B. So if we are making routing table of B, what we need to do? We need to use the distant vector of all the neighboring routers. So what are neighboring router of B? Neighboring router of B are router A, router D and router C. So we have just taken the distant vector like this. I hope distant vector are this for router A, router B, router C and router D. With the help of that, we are constructing routing table of B. Now whatever is the minimum, if I am using the same algorithm, how I will write? I will write, I need to go from B to A. So it would be minimum of, it would be minimum of B to B to C plus C to D plus D to A. Or I can directly go from B to D plus D to A. Or I can directly go from B to A. Getting it? 
so if i will add them what is cost of b2c cost of b2c so if you will see cost of b2c so what is cost of b2c it is zero uh, just a second b2c what is cost of b2c it is c so B, b2c is three plus what is cost of c2d cost of c2d is 11 c2d it is 11 map this c and d it is 11 what is cost of d2a this is d and this is a one so total is 3 plus 11 plus 1 that is 14 if i will choose path b2d what is b2d this is b and this is d that is 7 and then d2a what is d2a this is d and this is a that is 7 plus 1 that is 8 and if i will directly go from b2a what is b this is b2a 2 to a that is 2 so which is minimum on out of 14 8 and 2 2 is minimum that is why i put 2 here and next stop will be a but directly i can use use my intuition intuitions and i can write it using that using the graph so this is how i have filled this a and b clear basically b is directly we are working at router fee so we have just put zero here yes now let's work for c so if i go with algorithm it would be too much lengthy so what we can do we can directly use that we need to reach c from where b so b to c if i will use it c b to c is 3 b to c is 3 right b to c is 3 i am using this part b to c is 3 but if i will go with the help of router b it is 3 plus infinity if i will go with the help of router d it would be 3 plus 11 and if i will go with the help of router c it would be 3 plus 0 so out of 3 plus infinity 3 plus 11 and 3 plus 0 which is minimum 1 3 plus 0 that is 3 correct so i will choose router c so i will i will go with cost 3 here i will go with cost 3 here and the next hope will be c it means that we will directly go from b to c with cost 3 because 3 plus infinity is infinity 3 plus 11 is uh, 14 and uh, 3 plus 0 is 3 so which is minimum one this is minimum one so without using this what i am doing i am using this routing table 3 and i am adding all the next path to it whatever is the minimum we are adding it just see one more time and you will get clarity now i need to travel from b to d what is cost of b to d here 7 so see here one path is 7 plus b to d that via a via a router via a that is 7 plus 1 via router d 7 plus 0 and via router c that is 7 plus 11 which is minimum one via router d that is 7 plus 0 so i will put 7 here and next stop will be d so what in shortcut method directly use the distance and add the next distance directly use this distance and add the next distance uh, of all the distant vectors Yes, B to A, it means A to B and B to A, same path here, undirected it is. B to A, A to D is the path from B to D. B to D, B to D, you can say that uh, B to D is 7, but uh, we are going B to D how? B to D we are going via, here it is 7, here what it is written? 7, right, what it is written? 7, but you can see that uh, we are using 7 plus 1, 7 plus 1 right now as it is. And we are writing what 0 and what we are writing here 11 so here we are getting 7 but uh, if we are going to use uh, b to d we need to traverse from b to e. so if you will use via b to a b to a what it is 2 we need to add previous path so 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 so it is much lesser so we are going to use 3 here why i am writing 3 here and next stop will not d now next stop will be a now because if I am choosing B to D via router A, I need to add previous path that is 2 plus 1, 3. If I need to go via D, that is 7 plus 0, 7. If I need to go via C, that is 7 plus 11, that is 18. But the minimum one is 3. So I will put 3 here and next stop will be router A. So this is final routing table for router b using directly shortcut method it means that directly write the distant vector and do not follow the algorithm directly write the this minimum distant vector by taking the next minimum of all the three and add the previous previous address to it like that we have done here two plus one three and like that 
so this was minimum so we have updated it and it is via router a so next stop will be a it means that b to a and then a to d so next stop will be a that is why we have mentioned a here next stop of b to e. so it will tell us that b to a and a to d this is how we can use this technique is this clear is this clear up to here 